How much do you guys, when you watch the film, the, the style of play they have from a physicality standpoint? Yeah, this is the same approach we take with um, every week that we play, every team that we play. It doesn't really change with the opponent. Um, every team, you have to stop the run, and everything goes to the run with every team that we play. And just have to bring that physical mindset no matter who the opponent is. I know their tight end was talking about, um, he was he, one of the reasons how he decided not to, to go pro yet was he wanted to play you guys because, mm -hmm. you know, he says elite program like Clemson. When you hear a guy talk about that, how much they want to play you guys, what does that mean to you guys as a defense and as a team? Yeah, I mean, we know what the Clemson brand stands for in the way. Um, it has grown over the few years, and we know that the people, obviously, you go through the season, the regular season and things like that, you know everybody um, circles us on their schedule. So it's no surprise that guys want to play us in the ball game. So we, we, are, we are, um, accept the competition, and we accept what it come, comes with. You'll have a walkthrough tomorrow, but for all intents and purposes, this is your last practice yes, in a Clemson uniform. You know, what are your emotions, your thoughts, and your time? Um, it's like I, I would say it's um, a bittersweet moment, but just happy um, to come through a um, fully healthy season and come out with a bang with the guys, my brothers, all the relationships that was made. Just definitely a blessing in regards to um, coming through here and just excited for the next step. Do you think about the journey that you've gone through with all the ups and downs? Are you saying? Like you know, your whole experience at Clemson, yeah, yeah. you've had that, that, that ups and downs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean. Obviously, like I said, it's a blessing in regards to um, getting into through this far and with a fully healthy season and things like that. And obviously, like you said, all the ups and downs that I had to overcome and just bouncing back is, is definitely um, all God. Did you accomplish everything you wanted to coming back for one fight? Personally, not necessarily mm -hmm. from a team perspective. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Just wanted to get back to myself and just um, come through like, with a fully healthy season so I can be ready for the next step. Obviously, you'll have time to think about it later, but that's one moment what something that you'll take away from your coaching career that really stands out? Just being um, molded into a man, all the valuable things that, um, all the valuable lessons I've learned, um, um, negativity and, and like the positive things that has happened, not getting too high, not getting too low, and just all the things that um, Coach Sweeney has taught me and all the um, relationships I've built with my teammates and things like that, learning from them, just all those things I'm um, taking with me throughout life. X2, when you announced on social media that you were going to play in this bowl game, you said that this program has stood by you when they didn't need to. Mm -hmm. Could you just expand on that a little bit? Yeah, so back, I mean, back in 2020, when um, during that COVID year, when I had was going through what I was going through and got about 50 pounds overweight and things like that, they could have moved on from me and things. And Coach Winnie just he helped me get back to myself and get back, get, dig, dig myself out of that hole. And now we're here today. So obviously, I have a lot of gratitude for this um, program and what it has done for me. So there was no doubt in your mind ever that you weren't you weren't going to miss this bowl game no matter what. No sir. What is Chris Rowe brought to this defensive end room just in the short time that he's been here? Um, it's been it's it's it's, it's, it's amazing. Um, he's a very good guy, very good coach, and the way he the, the defensive end room is, is in great hands. I would say for the next few years, as long as he's here, um, it's been a blessing to have him for these these last few weeks. And like I said, they're in great hands. How would you describe what the mood has been like at practice? We were Coach Easton saying, this isn't a walkthrough, guys. We're not going half speed. Like, it's festive and it's the last practice of the year. But how would you describe the focus leading up to Friday's game? Yeah, this is the same intensity we've brought all year. Um, the same intensity, the same focus. Um, don't want to get, don't let the ball game distract you. Don't let any, any other outside things distract you in regards to what the game comes with. And it's the same mindset we've been keeping all year. So that's all he's doing, re re reiterating that. What would it mean to you to end your career on an exclamation point with a win on Friday? Well, it would mean a lot. I'm ready to ball out and go out with a bang with the bros. Thanks, 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 Thank you. Thank you.